hey guys what's up so this is my first video of 2018 so i thought i would come with a chit chat video chit chat get ready with me and i feel like you guys actually like those type of videos whenever i do them i actually get you know a good amount of views i guess it's because you guys kind of get to see into my life so yeah i thought i would do a chit chat get ready with me and a lot of you guys want me to do like makeup tutorials and stuff like that but i'm just really not a makeup person but i think i'll start doing more you know of my everyday looks which is pretty much the same but yeah so i'm sitting right now in my living room we painted the background i don't know if you guys follow me it's blue usually but now it's gray so i'm like let me just use it as a background even though i need like a light filler in the back because i'm like shadowy right now but anyways so i'm not gonna really share with you guys what i'm putting on my face everything will be in the description box i just want to talk to you guys and you know let's let's just talk <laughs> Actually, let's talk about 2017 first and just how great it was like 2017 was an awesome year for me like I said like every year has its ups and downs but 2017 was literally an amazing year in terms of meeting my goals or surpassing my goals um career rise when it came to th 2017 um I think I kind of met my mark. Well, not really. Like, in terms of financially, I did, but... Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm using the right side. Um, financially, I definitely did. But in terms of, like, hitting my subscriber count and um, my views and all that, that didn't really work in my favor. But that's obviously my my fault i definitely could have got there if i tried harder which i didn't um i slacked off with my videos and stuff and as you can see i'm like this is my first video for 2018 um well actually filming sitting down so as you can see <laughs> um yeah i'm kind of very inconsistent with my channel which this year i really really want to try to be i really do I don't want to complain about anything I just want to do it and see what comes out of it so I would say like view wise and subscriber wise I didn't get where I wanted to be but working with different brands and um, meeting my financial goals I totally like surpassed that um, one thing I really wanted to do when I spoke this into existence in 2016 was travel with brands um like be able to travel because you guys know i love to travel so i wanted to be something where yeah i was able to travel and work at the same time so the first trip that i got to go on was to south africa and we had the most amazing time i was also able to do that with my subscribers so like how amazing is that this kind of looks a little orange oh my gosh yeah i got to go with my subscribers um so that was really really fun um and yeah that was business at the same time literally everything i got to do for free um and i also got to bring somebody with me so like that for me was like travel goals and i told myself i wanted to go to africa and like one year later i was there so definitely speaking things into existence is like it works man also got to go to the bahamas with curls which was an amazing experience i was actually really surprised when curls did that because like that's the first black owned business that i know who did that and i was like wow like this is opening doors for you know things to happen like this and usually it's like the white people people who get to go on the trips and everything but this time it was all curly hair black girls and it was yeah it was amazing guys i'm not good at doing these talk through things so bear with me but yeah i also got to go to atlanta and i also got to go to new york with as i am naturally that's a brand that i absolutely adore because they always want to work with me and have a good relationship with them so yeah i got to go to new york and atlanta and that was super fun and that was with another brand as well um I'm trying to figure out if i went anywhere else but that's all i can think of but i went to so many places i went to miami i went to 
Austin, of course, Houston, Las Vegas. Where else did I go? I went to Jamaica. I went to St. Martin with my boyfriend. So like I got to do a lot of travel things, which I, you know, I'm down to do. This year, I'm trying to do like even more things. I'm trying to go to Thailand, um, Singapore, um, where else is it? Oh, Cambodia. I can't remember. Just somewhere in Asia. I'm also trying to go. I'm also going to Brazil in July. So if you guys are interested in coming with me, this is another One Love Travel Club thing. Um, I will link that down below. You guys can definitely come through. Um, any of you guys can come. As I was saying, I met my financial goals, which I'm super happy about. I saved a lot of money and I made more money than I thought I would ever make doing this as my career or my job. Um, like doing social media, YouTube, Instagram, all of that. Like I made so much money that I was just like, what am I going to do with all this? It's, it's crazy. So I was able to save a lot. But then again, I did spend a lot as well. I was really going through this spending phase of like buying a lot of clothes and stuff like that, which is something I'm planning to get out of this year because it's really not necessary. Like I already get clothes sent to me, so I don't really find the need for me to you know, always be spending money. Like I can do it seasonally, but not like every other day, you know, which we, which is what I was doing. And obviously me making a lot of money goes hand in hand with me working with a lot of brands I never thought I would work with. I worked with Ty Toyota, I worked with Bird Speeds, I worked with um, Ontario Lottery, I worked with Sephora, I worked with Curls, I worked with As I Am Naturally, um who else did i work with i work with just all these brands that i'm just like whoa like why me why me am i really like i don't know it's like who am i you know you always get that little insecurity like why are they contacting me but you know it's because they really like who you are they really like what you do so yeah i gotta start being more confident in you know my brand which I think I am a lot more confident now. Like this year has helped me do that. Um, especially when it comes to like my prices and all that. I'm just like, um, irks. You better be coming through correct, you know? But anyways, let's stop talking about 2017. Overall, 2017 was a fabulous year for me. And I'm excited about 2018 for real. So some of my goals for this year, I'm not going to go in it too heavy because, you know, once people find out, you know, your goals and stuff, they can like pray for your downfall. And I don't want that negative energy um, out there. So I thought I would share a few of them with you guys. But my first one that's actually on my list is to save 300K or buy an investment property. So that's what I want to do this year. If I don't end up buying an investment property or buying a house or a condo or whatever, I wanna save $300,000. Like that's that's my goal. <laughs> is it possible? Hell yes. As long as I work hard and I'm dedicated, it's definitely possible. And I would I would love to do a savings video, but I feel like saving is, is so different for everybody because it depends on how much money you're bringing in. That's like the number one thing. Um, I've always been good with money. I don't, I like seeing my money grow, so I've always been good with money. Um, I've had a credit card since I was 18, like since I was allowed to have a credit card. I always was afraid to, you know, go past my limit or just be in debt. So I was like never in debt. I was very just anal with my money. So, yeah, I do have a few methods of how I save. I like to keep cash sometimes because I like seeing my money like grow. I have a few savings accounts. Um, mostly that are tax free because I don't want to get taxed on that. I also have an American account because I'm always in the States. As you guys know, my boyfriend lives there, so I'm always there. So I'm like, might as well have an American account. And I plan to move there eventually. So I'm trying to really grow that account up, but like that's supposed to be on the low low. So another thing that I want to do is invest in some stocks. You guys know that cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is like a big thing. I kind of feel like I missed out on like the time where I should have went in. 
like my sister does it and she she did it when like mm, it wasn't really like a big big thing like how it is now and she really capitalized on it should have listened to her when I when I had the chance you know but I didn't so I'm gonna just get into some other type of investment so I did go to my bank we set up an appointment and everything and he showed me about um, um, like high risk low risk medium risk type stocks. so that's definitely something I'm going to do this year okay off topic but I got the it's my Ray Ray palette and it's so cute I love it it's so compact so I like literally bring this thing everywhere I go it took forever to get here but I'm finally happy that it came here like it literally took like a month which was hella annoying but yeah I love it so another thing is back to traveling I want to travel to at least seven countries so I already told you guys a little bit about where I want to go I really want to try a solo trip but I'm like nervous everyone says it's like the best thing ever but I'm hella nervous and like I feel like I'm gonna be bored like I, I want something to take my pictures and everything so I can have memories I don't want to just do selfies so I feel like I need somebody I know so I just really need to find a travel buddy and we just go everywhere because honestly soon it's time to like settle down have little kitties and stuff like that and I won't be I won't be doing all that like I definitely can but it's not gonna be the same as going with your friends or you know going with your girls or your men because you know you're gonna have to bring your kids with you which is definitely gonna be an amazing experience to even be able to do that for your kids but it's gonna be different so that's definitely on my list to travel to at least seven different countries okay so the other thing i want to talk to you guys about is when it comes to my channel what i want for my channel and all of that so i definitely want to be uploading one to two times a week on my main channel and then one to two times a week well two two to three times a week on my vlog channel um, because the vlogs are definitely a lot easier to edit and all that but you just gotta kind of find things to do um, a lot of times I'm just in my house editing or doing nothing um, to be honest um, I'm, a, I'm a very much a homebody so yeah so when it comes to my videos my main channel videos i really just gotta plan things out have like an agenda where i write everything down all of my ideas and just really execute it and like right now i don't even upload one time a week so that's something that i really want to start and then after that i can add more videos you know so that is the goal hold me accountable guys hold me accountable if you guys see i don't upload for a whole entire week be on my twitter be in my DMs, be in my Snapchat and be like, girl, upload a freaking video. Um, I did upload a new, new, new um, vlog post. So definitely go check that out and subscribe so you guys can know every time I post on there. So what I want to do for that is upload it every, upload a post like every two weeks. Like so twice a month because it's a lot. It's a lot because... People think that all you do is YouTube. It's not just YouTube. You got to do um, Instagram, like a lot of Instagram posts, um, keep up pe with people on Snapchat and do different little projects here and there for companies. Um, and Instagram for me has been what's been going right now. Like I've been getting a lot of brand brand deals on Instagram. So that's where I've been working if I'm not on YouTube. Along with my channel, I also want to get to 600k this year. Like that's ideal for me. I really want to get to 500,000 um, in 2017, but that didn't happen. And like I said, that's on me. That's definitely on me. I fell off. I wasn't consistent enough. Like if I was consistent, I can definitely see myself. I definitely could see myself getting there. But this year. I'm aiming for 600,000 or more, 600,000 plus, which I definitely think is doable. You know, Lord willing, I get a viral video because honestly, that's all you need. Like you just need a viral video and you'll be like set, like for real. So a lot of my goals have to do with work. Is that wrong? I don't think it's wrong because I just really want to grow in that avenue and be like the best that I can be because I don't think... Mm -hmm. That I've been the best that I could be so yeah I really want to um, get 300,000 subscribers on Instagram 
So I'm trying to be more um, consistent with that. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. Like I've been posting a little bit more. I've been posting a little bit more and I see my engagement going up. And I try to do like really good quality pictures. And I really see the difference. Like I've been getting the likes that I want and stuff like that. So it's been driving my engagement up. And once my engagement goes up, I can get more brand deals and more money. And yeah. I hope it doesn't sound bad that like a lot of my goals are to do with like work. <laughs> Damn, I made this too thick. Look at this line. Okay, so this goal like really means a lot to me. I didn't really want to share this because to me it's like more personal than anything and it's to read my Bible more. I don't know if, you, if a lot of you guys follow me from like a really long time ago, you guys would know that I was like into my bible like i used to read it all the time i used to like pray all the time like i used to be that girl and i feel like ever since i started like getting more immersed with my work i stopped doing all that so this year i really want to get back into my bible like reading it every single day or every other day or whatever um just to have a better relationship with the most high or christ i feel like once you insert that into your life everything is a lot easier not a lot easier but it, everything just makes sense like when I was reading every single day like my whole life made sense it's crazy what is going on I'm not feeling this right now I don't know how it looks in camera but what so the last goal that I'm gonna share with you guys for this year is just to be less negative and more happy I feel like I'm the type of person to kind of let all the good things like slide by me and then focus on the negative and that just like drains me I get so drained I can get depressed and just all of that and I don't like that about myself um I don't know it's like I have like a mood disorder or something <laughs> it's really weird like I let the weirdest things bother me and it shouldn't bother me um I just feel like I can just be a lot more positive I feel like because I'm negative a lot more, my relationships suffer because of that. Because I kind of like take it out on everybody else when they don't really deserve it. So, yeah, that's including with my family. Um, if you guys watch my vlogs, you guys know that I don't really have a close relationship with my sister. I was watching my girl, uh, what's her name? Um, Sade, 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 Sade Watkins. I hope that's her name, Sade, but. She did a family tag and her and her sister are like not close at all. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's like me and my sister. Like we are not close at all. It's like we don't hate each other or anything like that, but we're just, we don't have a relationship where if something is like really, really wrong or like I want to talk about something, I wouldn't run to her. Like I would run to my friends, which you know, it's, it sucks. Would I say it's my fault? I could say now it's more me than her. Like I've had my reasons why I didn't really share anything with her. Cause I'm not gonna bring that up, but yeah, I had my reasons, but like now we're like grown, we should be past that. But obviously, you know, when you're younger, that's when you foster, you know, your closest relationships, especially if it's with your family, right? So I would love to have a better relationship with her but I feel like my negativity like blocks that sometimes like sometimes she'll say good morning to me and I'll be like like I wouldn't even say anything to her I can't talk if you're here And yeah, another person that I want to have a better relationship with is my mom. She's the one who just came out. Um, yeah. Uh, we don't have the closest relationship either. There's a lot of things that I don't tell her. I don't feel comfortable telling her. And that's just what it is. So this year, I really want to like cultivate my um, friendships and my relationships with my family, my boyfriend. Just be a better person to them because I do feel like they deserve it 
and I'm just sitting here like, girl, what is you doing? You just here being negative Nancy, or you just always tired. Yeah, that's another thing. I'm always tired. I don't have energy, so I really want to get my diet together. Whatever, if I have to take some pills, even though I'm not a pill popper, take some pills, um, you know, work out, do something to like boost my serotonin, my energy levels, or whatever. I need some vitamin D, like... I really need some vitamin D. I need the sun. I've like since I've been here for four months, I just been like. <laughs> so I did book a trip. Um, we are going to. I'm not gonna say it. You guys will see it if you guys follow my vlog channel. Where is my fluffy brush? Yeah, if you guys follow my vlog channel, you guys will definitely see where we're going. And like I said, I keep my promises. Keep my promises. Yeah, I do take my mom and my little sister on vacation every year that's like something that i like to do because my mom works very very hard she's a hard-working mother she gave me everything that i ever wanted um as a child and i just want to give back in any way that i can and i know that she loves traveling she's the one who got me on traveling so yeah i gotta do the same for her if i can so yeah guys from you guys i just want to know what type of videos you guys want to see from me um yeah just comment down below I want to do more videos of like more videos that you guys want to see rather than me just thinking of random things and just doing it i did write a poll actually and a lot of you guys wanted me to do more makeup and i'm like makeup and a lot of you guys wanted me to do more hauls but i feel like my hauls don't get a lot of views so i don't know why you guys want me to do more hauls i guess there's just like a select few of you guys that really like my hauls and other times you guys don't but yeah I'm gonna do my red lip that you guys have been seeing like on Instagram and stuff and you guys have been loving in my vlogs like oh my gosh you should do red lips more often so yeah I'm gonna do a red lip this is the Patrick Star lip pencil in brick and then this is the lip gloss in Patrick Wu sorry if this video was like all over the place I was just talking and I feel like I was talking on my butt like obviously everything I was saying was like real ish but I feel like it was like all over the place I need to practice these type of video I can't practice because this is just a real talk but I'll get better as time goes on and I feel like that would really help me with like my public speaking and things like that because see that's another topic right there public speaking um facing my anxiety and how i'm overcoming it and how i'm trying to be less of an introvert Ooh. i didn't put on any mascara because i have lash extensions on so yeah they're not i need to get a refill i'm getting a refill before i go on vacation so right now they're like a lot of them are falling out before i wrap this video up i do want to tell you guys that this is what 30 day old hair straight hair can you believe it i just wand curled it today eh, it's my mouth but can you believe this is 30 day old hair 30 days old almost a month so yeah, this is pretty much the look, literally my everyday face with a red glossy lip. But if you guys enjoyed these chit chat get ready with me's, let me know in the comment section or just give me a thumbs up so I know to do more of them. Hopefully next one it'll be better, but honestly, if my makeup doesn't look good. Give me credit for keeping my hair straight for a whole month. Just, just give me a little bit of credit for that. Okay, so yeah, I will see you guys on my next video. I love you guys so much. Deuces.